Good day, it's Mr. Carey with the video number one that we need to go over first with the rules and the safety procedures. So if you're wondering why I don't have a mask on because it's Sunday night and I'm up here by myself so I can talk to you without a mask and I have a couple things I need to go over. And I made this video number one because it has classroom rules and in an emergency, what to do, things we cannot skip over. Like during a lockdown, everyone needs to line up below the window, right over here, below the window, and we will do our best to shut the shade and um, have the doors locked. Do not answer the door for anyone. Uh, one time Mr. Sperry came and he's knocking on the door and I opened up the door and he said he failed the test. You weren't supposed to open the door. So even for Mr. Sperry, we don't open up the door, okay? These rules in an emergency are posted by the door right over here, uh, right over there on the, I guess that would be the south end of the classroom. They're also on the north side and by the shop door. So uh, in an emergency, lockdown, locks, lights, out of sight. Students move away from sight, maintain silence, do not open the door. Teacher, lock the interior doors, turn out the lights, move away from sight, do not open the door, maintain distance, take attendance. Lockout, secure the perimeter. Students, return inside, business as usual. Teacher, bring everyone indoors, lock perimeter doors, increase situational awareness, business as usual, take attendance. Evacuate to announce location which the announced location is the church right over here, which is becoming the fire station right over in Appleside. Students, bring your phone, leave your stuff behind, follow instructions. Teacher, lead evacuation to location, take attendance, notify if missing extra or injured students. Okay, I take this one pretty serious because we had a uh, evacuation here just a few years ago and it um the entire school had to evacuate we had the bomb dog come in and um i'm kind of a stickler now for who comes uh in and out of the classroom i keep the door locked we must sign out before we go to the classroom right over there by the door you sign out where the pencils are on the little table by the door and when you go to the door that's the only time the door can be left open and it can be opened, uh, you can kick the little door stop down while you go use the restroom so you can get back in so no one has to open it back up for you. Um, speaking of bathroom, if you need to go to the restroom, lots of people just raise their hand and let me know if I have five or six people with their hands up and it becomes an emergency where you really gotta go or any type of emergency for that matter, you can raise two hands up, two hands up, okay? That means a double emergency. It doesn't mean you have to go number two. It just means you, it's an emergency. You gotta go any type of emergency. You can do that. I will uh, always take the people with two hands up over the ones with one. Shelter, hazard, and safety strategy. Tornado, hazmat, earthquake, tsunami. Uh, evacuate to shelter area, seal the room. Uh, that would be in hazard, hazmat, which is hazardous material. Uh, we have duct tape, and I need to tell students that there is an emergency backpack right under the sink over there, and uh, it is to stay under that sink, and it stay closed except in an emergency. That's not duct tape we loan out or let students fix their binder with. That is to, in case we have to seal the door or the windows in case of an emergency, okay? So make sure that that stays there uh, unless we have to use it. And I know, um, you know, that seems far-fetched, but here a year ago, we would not think we'd be talking about kids wearing masks and social distancing, so we have to take all this stuff very serious, okay? Uh, so that's for tornado, hazmat, earthquake, and tsunami. And um, we also make sure we do the kidnapping um, or the, the attendance in there. And then down below here, I have AED, which is the automated external defibrillator. I will go over that with you. If you don't know the AED, um, I have uh, a heart condition defibrillation. So that's why I'm usually wearing two watches. They're both actually heart monitors. 
and um, I have had to go to the hospital with it before. In fact, it was during a Super Bowl one year when I had uh, a little bit too much energy drinks and uh, have to do the defibrillating and the defibrillators down in the cafeteria. Just uh, as you go around there, hang a right and another right, it is right next to the line where you get your food. And I will show you a video on how to do the AED and CPR. Okay, very important stuff. The other video I have, um, or, or the other slide I have here, classroom rules. You all know about being resilient and um, the, the rules over there on the wall. Um, and they are respectful, responsible, and resilient. Those are the school ones. However, on here, be in control of your behavior. Be prepared for class. Bring two pencils every day and your notebook planner. Work in a positive manner. Use appropriate language. Make sure talking is not excessive or disruptive. Okay? Raise your hand if you have something to say. I'm usually pr pretty good about saying anything you care to share. Make sure it is school appropriate. And um, I have other few little notes on there. Uh, we will get to those, but um, that basically summarizes the rules and classroom rules and the emergency procedures uh, to just give you an idea how the class will go for regular vocational education. We'll do marketing uh, normally. I say normally because it is uh, things are not always normal lately but we will try to do chapter one and two out of the book and then you pick a third chapter of your own. We do something called ROW, read it, outline, and do the words and then um, that's for the marketing. Usually you do chapter one and two, and then I'd like students to pick a third chapter and some sort of marketing project. It could be a business plan or a business card. It could be a TV ad, radio ad, uh, written ad. And then we usually go on to drafting and then a little bit of computer-aided drafting. And you do a small unit of automotive and uh, the four-stroke engine, intake, compression, power, and exhaust and uh, four stroke versus two stroke and then little unit on flight i got a little small booklet i like the kids to read and we talk about the four forces of flight lift gravity drag and thrust lgdt and three axis of control pitch roll and yaw and of course bernoulli's principle or the bernoulli effect and um, then a little bit in the shop if all goes well and we have good behavior and and uh, we're cleared to go over there sometimes that's part of it too Okay, so uh, the exceptions to being loud and obnoxious are when I say eyes on who, you can say eyes on you nice and loud and then that is your chance to be very quiet after that. I usually look for the first person who talks after I do eyes on who and uh, I award them with a choice card. I try not to give out too many choice cards but um, sometimes if you don't follow the rules you get to do that. Okay, last but not least. Um, I will be talking a little bit about the layout. Keep your masks on. Try to keep distance as much as you can. Uh, I tried to stagger them. It's really important you stay at your assigned seat and, um, and follow those rules. The end.